good. What is up, guys? Welcome back to day three of Devin and I's trip to East Texas, hitting some new lakes you've never seen us hit before. We have just launched, man. I'm gonna wait for her to park the truck. And we're gonna get out here and do our thing. We're throwing some new baits today. Get excited. And I think today's our day, man. This is where we get the big. I'm pretty pumped. I'm gonna work my way over here to this dock to grab her when she uh, gets back over here. And we're gonna get to fishing, man. What time is it? 10 in the morning. Went to sleep late, was working on my edit. And uh, I think it's like the first day I didn't get an upload done by the time I went to sleep after like 100 days because it wasn't my fault. I had the video edited, but the Wi-Fi in our cabin is no good. The cell service out here is no good. And I would have had to have driven probably half an hour just to get enough service to upload the video using the personal hotspot from my phone. Anyways, I'm uploading that video today. So I apologize there was no video technically yesterday, but you might get two today. I don't know. And, and by today, I don't mean like when you're watching this video, but I mean like actually today when I uh, am going to upload that one and possibly another. Y'all, Devin and I had just cruised across the lake, didn't even get the GoPros ready yet. We saw a ton of bait fish getting chased and like bass schooling all around them, and we went straight for the Whopper Popper. So check this out. Look over there. Over there. Over there. They might be schooling. Got him. Got him. No way, right off the bat. Right off the bat. We just saw him schooling Keep out him. here. Keep him. You're recording? Yeah, I'm recording. I have the net. Do you need it? Keep I him don't down. Know. Keep him down. I don't know. Keep him down. He's not that bad. Keep He's not that bad. <laughs> oh my god. Right off the bat, guys. We literally just saw some fish getting chased. Holy cow. We saw some bass either schooling or just chasing some bait fish. And look at this. We throw the plopper in and get a three pounder right in. Oh my god. Minutes in. Minutes in. This is sick right here. Oh, there's another one. There's another one? Yeah. Here, the frog. Oh my god. We gotta go. Here. Hold that. I'll, I'll film you. He's not even hooked. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm setting that yeah, down. Throw the, it's plopper. Still throw the plopper. Throw the plopper. Wow. That was, we had to be so quick to get that plopper in the water. Something hit it and missed it. And then we just got back in there. Boom. <laughs> Let me put this thing on the scale for you guys. Yeah, guys. 2.91. About a three pounder to start the day. And Devin's getting treble hooks in her hands. <laughs> Let's get this thing back in the water. And we're going to get some more. Yeah, there's that thermal climb. Oh, hey, 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 plopper, 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 plopper. Seems like they also go back down just as fast, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Try to catch up with you and then catch up with other friends that are over there. Well, y'all, here come the showers. Devin and I, uh, there's actually a bridge. There's a whole area of this lake we haven't hit yet that we are gonna go and find. There, um, yeah, like I just said, there's a bridge right down the way. And we're gonna go hide under there, try and catch a couple fish. And actually right around it, there's uh, tales of some good fish catching. So we're gonna see what's up. Uh, a couple guys we met just the other day, we're having some good luck over there. And uh, they told us we should go hit that spot. So we're trimming down, cranking up, and headed that direction. Oh, I guess we should get the trolling motor. That only happens one every like three times. Alright, we made it to the next spot. Those guys we ran into the other day that were staying at the same place as us, that Nakanish retreat they were telling us. Right here by this house and over here by the bridge, they got like 13 fish in the morning time the other day, which it is not morning time. It's a little warm, so I'm creeping the crank in here through the trees on the way in where it's a little deeper just to see what we might find. But I think all these tall trees right here, a little shade on the bank, this could be this could be alright. We'll throw a mixture of baits in here and see what hits. Oh, that was a tree. Felt really good. Well, we made it to the shade, y'all. Through in here a couple times, we're trying to navigate the wooded forest. We're still in about seven feet of water. All right, I gotta get the frog back in here, y'all. I don't know if there's anything back here, but if there is, I'm sure it's hungry. Oh my gosh, such perfect opportunity. Oh, oh I got one. Guys, I got him. No way. He was hungry. 
Oh gosh. Oh, he's not that oh, bad no. either. He's not that bad either. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Oh, out of the back 40. Okay. That's like a solid two and a half or something, man. Yeah, On the frog back there. Get in there with the Mondo worm. Follow it up. Oh my gosh. No way. It's going to be a tough one. Tough cast. Nice. Holy smokes, y'all. All right, y'all, look at what we are in. About six feet of water. Actually, it's like two feet back here. And I figured I was gonna throw right around the corner in this shade. It's like a little creek arm off of this place. I knew there would be something back there. I didn't know, but I assumed there'd be something back there. <laughs> and so we got lucky with this guy right here. Uh, he's about two pounds, I'd say. We're gonna go ahead and just let him go. But wow, it's been a, a grind out here, a straight hustle. I'm gonna put him in the water real quick, let him get rejuvenated. But what a lake, man. Beautiful place, beautiful place. Heat of summer, you gotta look for the shade, you gotta look for the cover, you gotta find it, you gotta hit it. Uh, we're headed towards that bridge, there's some more shade, where there's also a fishing dock and a pier just around the corner, and uh, that's supposed to be promising, so we got a lot to look forward to, man. We might just get on a solid bite right here. Let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water, underwater style. Let's do that again. Oh, and in case y'all saw Devin, in case y'all saw Devin with the net, she was coming in clutch. Basically, since we have lost so many fish on this trip, we kind of told each other, we're just going for the net every single time. So don't think that was a bad move just because it was like a two or three pounder. We were kind of unaware. Plus we've literally been losing almost all the big ones at the boat. So it just feels good to be able to get a fish on this thing. Now it's her turn. All right, we have made it to the bridge. I think we're gonna crank out here. This could be good. There's a bunch of bait, y'all. See about eight foot down. Let me tell you guys about this thermocline. Look at, you can see there's like that layer. See that layer right there where the temperature shifts and all these fish, even though it's 16 foot deep here, or well, that's what it's saying. They're all hanging out around that 10 foot depth. And I'm scanning right now. I'm scanning right now with the foot pedal. That's adjusting the motor. And wherever it looks is what the live scope monitor is showing. So look, there's a, there's a decent sized fish it looked like. Or well, that's that. Okay, so there's quite a bit of bait there. Now as I pan over, you can see it's looking at these columns. Check that out. You can see those columns. So if you guys have never seen live scope in action before, it's pretty nuts, man. And we just found this shaded area. But I think we're about to go grab something to eat. Yeah, I think we're about to run into town, man. It feels so good under here. I gotta tell you that much. We're in the shade for the first time. <laughs> we are in a little bit of a breeze. The rain kind of passed. It felt good cruising over here. We cranked a little bit through these columns. Devin threw the Mondo worm for a second. No bites. What we're gonna do is take a little chill pill, slight break, head into Knack. We're gonna go get some lunch. And also, I'm gonna upload uh, the video for today, which is stuff I've already put together from our first day out on this lake. I think you guys are gonna eat that up. Probably so if you're watching this. Maybe you subscribed, hit notifications, and that's how you saw this video. Video. Thank you guys for doing that. We are gonna get out on the road though. I think it's time for the hat and glasses again. I just peeked myself out into the sunshine. Let's load up and uh, get something to eat. Alright y'all, she's cranked down. Come over here to the back, get your straps. Make sure the boat isn't cranked. Got that one. Come over here to this guy. Same thing. Crank her down. Open that plug. Undo the plug. Nice, and then we gotta get the support here for the motor. All right, y'all, off the water. Everything that is not secured is now off the deck or about to get removed. We went ahead, took off the screen since we're traveling. The Garmin units come off. Don't forget to put this rubber piece on there. Any dust, water, you wanna make sure that stays sealed, otherwise your connection might not be good with your units. Uh, 
Here they are right here. This is the SV93, SV102, both the UHD units, um, or 102 SV, you get the point. Those are the systems we're running. You guys can check out all of our Garmin goodies down in the description below. We'll put the trolling motor, this is the force. We'll put the live scope transducer and all of our equipment because you saw how sick the stuff is. If you wanna check this thing out for yourself, we've got that down there for you. Front strap is tightly secured. Gotta make sure that thing is snug. All the way up to the front, you guys. Rods are strapped down. I like to leave my handles up. I'm sure this is what you guys are doing, but if you're actually considering getting a boat, then this is some new stuff that you wanna focus on because just because the strap is over these things, if the handles are down, they could potentially slip through when you're doing 80 down the highway. Don't want nothing flying out of your boat. Uh, last thing over here, I done showed you the plug and the straps, but we have the motor support. A lot of boats, the styling of these things is different, but on ours, here's what we do. You align this piece with the center of this rubber deal down at the bottom, and you've got your trim switch on the motor. I'm gonna trim it down until it's snug, and then this strap just goes around here. And you strap that thing down on the other side, and what this is gonna do is protect the motor from shaking as you're driving. It stays trimmed up and you're good to go on the road. The last thing we're doing, guys, is shutting off the power to the boat, so that is now off. That is the trolling motor battery. Come around here, we're now turning off the main power. So you got a separate one for your trolling motor and all the rest of the goodies. Close that up. Not everyone turns off the power to their boat, especially if they're getting out the same day. But uh, for us, we just turn it off every time we get off the water, turn it on every time we launch the boat. And that's that. Load up, man, let's go get some lunch. Well, we were gonna make the drive into town just kind of decided to skip it. We actually had some steaks from Costco, y'all, that were probably gonna go bad, so Devin grilled them puppies up for another amazing meal out here on vacation in the cabins. Uh, this is Lake Nakanish Retreat. If you guys have not heard of this place, it is off the chain. I'll see if I can provide some of the info to it down in the description. Otherwise, it's just a quick look up very close to the, I think, one and only boat ramp on this lake. And so, yeah, I mean, this place is, it is dope. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get out there and enjoy lunch. He's not that bad. He's not that bad. Oh my god. <laughs>